Today we're looking at the Illustrator Blend tool. Object blending is a technique in Illustrator that allows you to create a series of intervals between two objects. It's really good for creating different kinds of graphics and gradient-like effects. Um, the Blend tool or the Blend technique is a dynamic um, technique, which means it's editable and you can get in and adjust it when you need to. The Blend tool is an OG Illustrator tool and it's been around since about 1988. Let's get in and make some blends. Um, what we'll need is two shapes. So let's quickly draw up two shapes. I'm going to start with an ellipse, like so. Um, maybe give it some more kind of colourful attributes, a bit of a um, a bit of a stroke and also we'll make a kind of a square and maybe we'll flip around those colors. Um, it's really simple to blend between these two objects. We'll just need to go up to the object menu and go to the blend item and make a blend. And you can see it makes that really nice seamless blend between those two objects which is really useful. We can make some adjustments to, um, to that blend by going, making sure we've got those two objects selected, going back into the object and blend section and going to our blend options. So in here we've uh, currently got the spacing set to smooth color, but we can specify steps if required. Currently there's 147 intervals between these two objects which gives you that really nice gradation but if you wanted to make it um, a bit chunkier than that you could drop it down. You can see we're starting to get some or defined intervals even more here until we get down to series of objects. We'll take it back to specified color and go OK. A um, couple of other options we've got there in the, um, the excuse me blend options or in the blend menu item. We can undo that if we want and release the blend. Um, I've just undone that. We can also um, reverse the uh, the spine so you can see between the blend here there's this kind of there's this vector here that um, indicates the blend spine and we can reverse that if we wanted to um, if we needed that option reverse the spine so we're essentially changing the position of the two blended objects um, the other thing that we can do is um, move one of the objects in front of the other so we can you know sort of blend from the in this instance the circle to the square but we could change it from blending from the square to the circle by going back up to the object um, blend and changing it reverse front to back so we get that different kind of effect um, so that's blending to um, two objects together. The blend itself is editable as you've seen. We can um, mess around with it. And we can also um, kind of move around our objects, move around the blend, but if we select the uh, just the objects themselves uh, using the direct selection tool and then changing it to the, um, the move tool, I can change the scale of this and um, the blend will adjust or I can change, oops, change the position of um, elements, points, and indeed the object itself, which is really kind of good. And likewise, I can change the other object. Um, when we've got both of these selected, you can see, as I pointed out, the spine um, 
that is a vector and that's editable so we could go in grab the direct selection tool and select a point and we can move around that oops we can move around that point but what I was getting at was we can actually move uh, adjust the vector itself so if I wanted to bend that vector and turn that spine into a curved vector I can kind of do that as well um, which is really neat so all of that is editable as well um, so that's a quick look at the blend tool um, and in a few subsequent videos look at maybe some applications of the blend tool